Hey guys, so I'm back in New Orleans for Mardi Gras weekend. I'm gonna do another Smith System video. I'm kinda on the outskirts of New Orleans right now, but I'm gonna do a few of these while I'm here. This is a more, much more busier uh, weekend. This is the first weekend of February, I think, for um, Mardi Gras, or at least the uh, celebrations before the actual day. So I'm gonna do a Smith System video uh, for defensive driving. The first one is to aim high in steering. Um, so that means that I wanna identify any potential hazards um, or anything like that. So of course the cars that are coming that I'm trying to look out for, I'm identifying those. And now it's clear for me to go out. I'm trying to look at least 15 seconds in front of me. I'm gonna make a U-turn right here, so I'm, go I'm gonna go ahead and put my left turn signal on, but still making note of the cars that are coming out in front of me. And I'm gonna make sure that I'm looking behind me to see if there's a car approaching from behind. I'm looking at the yield sign, which is telling me to yield to the oncoming traffic, so I'm yielding to the oncoming traffic. I'm looking back, I have my turn signal on. And now I'm going to proceed. Now when you aim high in steering, like I always say, you try to look at least 15 seconds ahead of you if you can, as far as you can see. You wanna pay attention to the speed limit, which is 35. Um, you wanna to try to maintain a, at least a four to six second following distance from the car that's in front of you. So we have a lot of distance between the car in front of me and myself, so we're fine. The next one is to get the big picture. And with that one, you want to just kind of look at everything individually and then put it, piece it all together. So I'm looking at my, my left mirror, my right mirror, my rear view mirror every five to eight seconds. And this is helping me to understand my central vision, which is the vision in front of me and my peripheral vision, which is the vision on my sides. Right now I have a pretty good space cushion, so I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Um, I don't have any cars on my right side. I'm gonna stop a good distance, at least a car length, for uh, the car that's in front of me. Um, and I'm looking around at everything. I'm identifying relevant objects, which are objects that could be potential hazards, and non-relevant objects, which are objects that are just there. So I'm identifying the gas station to on the other side that's non-relevant. I'm identifying the fresh green light, which is which means um, a green light that I actually saw turn green that's relevant. I'm looking at the cars that are stopped on my right at the intersection. Um, and anytime you are approaching an intersection, even if the light is green, you want to look left and then look right and then look left again before you actually proceed through. I'm paying attention to the parked cars on the side, um, the trees, um, any pedestrians on the sidewalk, which there are none. I'm looking at this uh, bridge, which is to my left, um, or this, you know, barrier. So all of that is t together is making my, my big picture. The third thing is I want to keep your eyes moving, which is kind of sort of similar to get the big picture. So you want to scan. So every two to three seconds, you want to be looking at a different object. So I'm looking um, at my mirrors every two to three seconds. I'm looking at the cars every two to three seconds. I'm noticing this car right here that's waiting to complete his U-turn. I'm looking at the cars that are waiting to make a left right here. I'm looking at the cars that are stopped at this intersection. I'm slowing down, looking left, right, left before I go through, keeping my speed limit at 35 miles per hour. The weather is really nice. So we don't have any rain or fog or anything like that. So you can maintain a good speed limit. Um, I'm, I made notice of this car that was approaching to complete his U-turn. Um, I'm making note of this car that's on my right. Um, and either I'm going to, I want to decrease my speed so that this car can pass me on my right. Um, and I'm also maintaining a four to six second following distance with the car that's in front of me. So that's, that, that is keep your eyes moving. So you don't wanna stare at something. You wanna always be looking around, looking in front, looking on the left and right side and trying to maintain 
a good cushion so that if anything were to happen, you would have a lot of room, you know, for mistakes. Um, the next one is to leave yourself an out. I've kind of been saying that the whole time. So leave yourself enough space in front of you, on the sides, um, as much as you can. Of course, I have this this barrier right here. So there's, there's only so much I can do with my left side. Um, and then the last one is to uh, make sure they see you. So right now, I'm actually not supposed to turn left right here, but you can see that everybody turns left right here. But I'm, I'm going to keep going straight and I'm going to make a U-turn and come back up because I have to go this way to get on the highway. But um, you always want to make sure they see you. So a lot of people here, the culture is to beat you know, to communicate, you know, if they're telling you that it's okay for you to proceed or if they're giving you the right of way or anything like that, um, you can, you know, give a light tap of the horn. You can use your flashers. If you have to stop over somewhere, use your turn signals, things like that. Um, you want to do, do, do that all the time just to communicate with the other drivers. And of course, making eye contact is the most important one. That's with pedestrians, bicyclists. If you make eye contact, most of the time you can be sure about what the other person is trying to do. So I'm gonna make a U-turn right here. I'm looking at my yield sign, I'm approaching slowly and I'm waiting to be able to go out before the oncoming traffic. So after this next car, I will have a clear path And now, and that's how you would do that because a lot of streets here, you can't make left turns. So you would just keep going down until you, until you can make a U-turn. So that is the Smith system, the five keys. I'm also gonna do one for the highway and maybe uh, another one in the Mardi Gras traffic. So you can kind of see how hectic they can, they can be. So tune in. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video.